So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P0304 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P0304 code? Well, it's a cylinder for misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder needs to have air and fuel going into the cylinder. And then at the right time, there needs to be a spark to ignite this mixture. And for some reason on cylinder number four, there's some kind of issue going on that's causing a problem that this is not working correctly. And this is usually some kind of problem either with the fuel going into the cylinder or with the spark to ignite the mixture. If you are getting other P0300 codes, then there can be other issues going on than the ones that are listed here. For example, if you're getting P0301, P0302, P0303, and a P0304 on this side, then very likely there'd be some kind of fuel delivery issue going to bank one or something along these lines. But if you're only getting a P0304 code, then there's some kind of issue going on specifically with cylinder number four. And so what would be some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad spark plug. The spark plug might have just fouled out and just need to be replaced. It could be the spark plug wire that's going to the spark plug. It can also be a bad coil. And this includes coil packs and ignition coils that slide in and out at each cylinder, but it could be a bad coil. It could also be a bad fuel injector at cylinder number four. It might have just failed or be clogged up or something like this. If you have an older four that has a distributor cap, then it could be a bad distributor cap. And it's also possible that there's a mechanical problem going on that's causing an issue, like a bad valve or a bad lifter or something like this. But usually when this happens, it's going to be either something with the fuel delivery or with the spark. And so how do you go about troubleshooting a Ford with the P0304 code? Well, the first thing to do is to go locate that cylinder number four, since that's the one having the issues. If you Google your engine and you look at the images, they usually pop up and it'll tell you which cylinder is number four. But the first thing to go and do is locate that cylinder number four, since that's the one having the problem. And once you locate the cylinder, there's a few different ways you go about troubleshooting this. So one of the first things to do is to check to see if you're getting any spark going to that cylinder. And there's a few different ways to do this. Some people hold a spark plug wire really close to a ground see if the spark jumps. The method I like to use is I use a spark tester tool and basically the way this works is that one side just goes to the spark plug and then the other side goes to the coil and then you start the engine and if you're getting spark then you'll be able to see it inside of here it'll be sparking. These tester tools are real low cost they're usually less than like ten dollars. I'll put a link down below if you need one but there's some different ways you could test for spark but one of the first things to do is to go test and make sure that you're getting spark going to that cylinder number four. Also check the spark plug wire going to spark plug number four. Be sure it's all connected good. It doesn't look like there's no damage or anything like this. You can also check out the coil going to cylinder number four. And this includes coil packs and ignition coils. If you do have ignition coils, you can pull it out and check to see if it has any damage or anything like this going on to it or any grease or buildup on it because that does happen. Sometimes they get damaged. You can also swap it with the one next to it and see if the code follows. So for example, if you swapped out the ignition coil with cylinder number three and then you get a P0303 code, then you know it's got a bad ignition coil. So you can also swap them out and see if the problem follows. But the next thing you do is check out that coil, be sure it's working good. You could also remove the spark plug and check to be sure that it's good, that it hasn't fouled out or it's damaged or anything like this. This is especially true if the engine has a lot of miles on it and you know the spark plugs haven't been changed, then the spark plug might have just gone bad. If you're getting spark and all that looks good, then the next thing to check would be the injectors. And this is going to include the wiring going to the injectors. Basically, just keep in mind that if there's any problem with the wiring, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad injector. So be sure to check that out. Be sure there's no damage there or anything going on. There's different ways you go about testing the injectors to see if they gone bad. Some mechanics will swap out the injector with another cylinder and see if the problem follows. And then they'll know whether or not it's bad or not. You can also use a meter and go and check it for resistance using ohms. And basically to do this, you check a known good one and then you match it to the one you think might be having a problem. And if you're not getting no resistance or the resistance is like hugely different, then you know that injector is having a problem. But the next thing to do would be go and test that fuel injector on cylinder number four and be sure it's working correctly. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P0304 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.